This is where the magic happens. Time to rehouse my stinking little Nandu Chromatis. This one is just outgrowing its enclosure. Got a little hide right there. A water dish. I'm just messing around with this cheap plant thing that I got at Walmart. And the nice thing is, since it's cheap, you can just move these things around. The leaves, I have bent the corner in so that it's not sharp. Got my hedge cup ready. Sometimes that doesn't mean anything, does it? Alright, there we are. I finally broke down and bought myself a little tripod that I can use. Okay. Burning myself on the lamp. Yeah. I'm just depressing the burrow here. And I can see that the little one, you probably can't see it, but it's in the bottom here. Okay, let's go up. Nowhere to go but up. our new home. I'm trying to get them to go right down inside this little burrow. I actually do have an opening on the other side of this catch cup, so use my little wire. This one tends to be kind of shy, so I'm not sure is gonna work. I'm gonna come out. Come on. There you go. Back out. There you go. Just we'll give him a little bit of a nudge. And just being very cautious. Oh, a little bit of lazy hair kicking. Did you? Oh, yeah. All right. That's not necessary. Take your foot. Okay. There you go, little Nandu Chromatis. Cripsidromus species Costa Rica, the Panama Black Amelia. She is a little bit skittish. Um, I'm gonna get her out of her container off camera and then release her into her new home. So it wasn't too hard to get her. Here she is. Um, she was being a little bit of a uh, butt, but um, basically a butt, sticking her butt up in the air. Uh, but it wasn't too difficult in the end, so she was ready to go into her new home. She just didn't have enough room in the other one. She, She's about, uh, let's see, how old is she now? She's almost two years old. I got her when she was a year and a half. That was about six months ago. When I first got her, she was pretty bolty. She seems to be a little more defensive now than bolty. She 
definitely delivering some some bites to the at the wire. Doesn't want to come out and she's got the wire. She's come on. Alright. Doesn't want to come out. Sorry about it. Go on. Oh no. Not back in. Thought maybe we could have her hold onto the wire and get her out, but I guess that's not gonna work either. Sheesh, she's harder to rehouse. Oh, kicking, kicking hair. Harder to rehouse than my old worlds. No, 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 no. Okay, finally, that's a good girl. It's a little more stressful than what I wanted for her. There she is. <laughs> She's a not one, not a handleable little dwarf. Go down in there so you'll feel good. And then I can just put the lid on. Jumping more than I do with my Whoa, okay. So, this is your Crypsidromus <laughs> uh, species Costa Rica. I'm going to leave her alone. Let her go down into her burrow when she wants to, because right now that's Krabby Girl. You know, she's she also um, could be in pre-molt, so um, that would explain why she's a bit cranky, uh, so maybe she will. Come on, girl, it's all right. She just wants to be left alone. She's very sweet. There we go. Now she's down in her burrow. She'll feel safer in there. All right, good. And Snot Gurgle is always watching. <laughs>